Hey guys. <coughs> so hey guys, welcome back to the gaming channel. As you all know, as much as we love to play, we love to educate you guys as well. A virus is currently spreading globally and causing the whole world to panic. Well, not say on a global scale panic, but like, you know, starting to take a lot of precautions. So today we are going to learn more about the virus. Well, not actually the virus, but we're going to learn more about viruses and how they spread, the symptoms, how they grow, how they get um, stronger, the DNA code, the genome, the, the whole hoopla, all right? So today we're going to play a game, which is a very educational game, may I add. So this game is called Plague Inc. Now, this game is available on Steam, it's available on App Store, it's available on the Play Store. So the one on the App Store costs about one dollar plus right and the one on the play store costs absolutely nothing however there is a feature on the game that uh, allows you to speed up the game so if you buy the game you can already speed up however if you play on the Android version um, you have to pay to speed up so either way you still have to pay for the game either way because the game is actually it's about 15 to 20 minutes long if you don't speed it up yeah so that's all you need to know about the differences how you want to play it where you want to play it it's up to you today we're just gonna jump into the game right now and we are going to kill the world <laughs> all right so let's just jump into a game all right uh since the the plague that we're facing with is a virus we will choose the virus option okay we're gonna play normal 67.3 percent wash hands do you wash your hands Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Doctors work three days a week. Uh, sick people ignored. So guys, remember, when you're sick, always head to the doctor no matter what. Especially in these times, alright? Even if it's a slight little cough, <coughs> go to the doctor. Alright, I got an idea, okay? We're gonna name our virus Woo. You know, like, woohoo! Okay, so the aim of the game is to infect as many people as you can and kill them, alright? So today we are playing the bad guy. We are playing the virus, alright? So as long as you know your enemy, you will know how to beat them. So welcome to Plague Inc. You are a new virus. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Alright, so now let me give you a few tips, alright? Start out in Saudi Arabia. Trust me. And you must learn a bit of geography as well, alright? So Saudi Arabia is right here. Alrighty, so we got our first Guy infected, that's who. Woohoo! Begins in Saudi Arabia. Woohoo! Has infected its first human. What we're gonna do is just we're gonna let slowly more people get infected. And the, the motive of the game is not to get detected yet. Try not to uh, make sure that your virus evolves too much. Alright, let's just go to the disease, alright? So these are your disease. This is the disease, right? Your transmission is how you transmit the disease, alright? Your symptoms are what kills you and what makes your virus visible to the world and the abilities of your diseases, I mean your plague is right here, okay? So as of right now, we are nothing, we are just um, a small little teeny weeny virus infecting like what? We've infected 9 people. Alright guys, so remember like I said earlier in the video, uh, see there's an option to pause, play and forward. So the one on the iPhone uh, allows you to fast forward. Once you buy the game, you're allowed to fast forward. On Android, however, if you want to fast forward, you have to pay to fast forward. Woohoo! Begins to spread. Woohoo! It's spreading from person to person in Saudi Arabia and will grow exponentially. Another thing that I, I follow, okay, when I play this game, is you have to remember the acronym at the hell. First thing first, when you want to evolve anything, evolve your drug resistance first, okay? Pathogen becomes resistant to class 1 and class 2 antivirals. Increase effectiveness in wealthy countries. Now, Saudi Arabia is slightly wealthy, so we're gonna evolve that bank blind. So that's the D, drug resistance. Actually, uh, early game, you can uh, speed the thing, you can speed things up, yeah? Uh, it'll take some time before you hit your first 100. It'll take a few days. Anemia. Ooh, okay, so it's uh, mutated to the first symptom. Now, okay, if it mutates to the first symptom, like first levels of everything, like first level of nausea, coughing, rash, insomnia, cysts, and anemia, it's not uh, lethal, but it will help with the spreading. So that's what we need. We need, to we need it to spread more around, all right? So worldwide, we have 78, 80, 80 going up to 100. Nice, we hit 100. All right, now we work on the transmission. So DA, all right, the, the A stands for air. Air one, which means it travels through the air, all right? So now you got slightly more, a few hundreds in your starting country. 
Now you want to spread it around, okay? Woohoo! Infects hundreds, all right, in Saudi Arabia. Now we're up to 300 people infected. No one is dead yet. No one knows that they're actually infected yet, which is good. Now we, we still play the waiting game. Woohoo! Spreads to Iran. Yes! Our first neighboring country gets infected and bang, we got it. All right, we've got Iran. <laughs> uh, Saudi Arabia people are being infected faster and faster. That is very good news. Insomnia, yes. Okay, out of all the symptoms, my favorite is insomnia because insomnia leads you to uh, paranoia. So victims become slightly more agitated, right? They, they don't really want to seek out for uh, medicines and doctors and it will eventually lead to anarchy in the end, which I love, all right? Because when governments fall, uh, they won't work on the cure. So we're gonna leave it at that. We're not gonna devolve any viruses. I don't think we're gonna involve any viruses at all. Yes, all right, we got Russia, my lads. We've got Russia. Mother Russia has been infected with woohoo. All right, we've got 50,000, 60,000 people already. New fall in urban population density. Research indicates that population density in urban environments has fallen, making them less vulnerable to disease. I was at D, drug resistance, got it. I was at air transmission, the H. Now, heat resistant, all right? Because Saudi Arabia, Iran are warm countries, so we need to increase our resistance. And now the D-A-H-A-W, A again, right? Air again, but we don't have enough DNA points. We need 15, we have 12 right now, okay. Three more DNA points, and is that enough? Yes, that is enough. Thank you, uh, Japan, for your two infected people. Thank you, very nice. All right, let's get air into play. Oh, whoa, 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 we've got a lot of countries now involved. We've got almost a million. Yes, we have a million now. A million people are infected, that's right. And no one is dead yet. So uh, the World Health Organization, or who, it won't be on their radar just yet. Okay, 16 million people are infected already. We got Iceland even. Is that Iceland? Yes, it is Iceland. All right, nice, nice, nice. We got Southeast Asia coming into play. Wait, that's us. All right, we got Canada. Okay, we got the cold countries too. Saudi Arabia starts work on cure. Now, do not worry, all right? They're still learning about the drug and this is where we have to um, work on our transmission some more, okay? So, uh, the hell, D-A-H-A-W, right? Next up is water. So that's how you're basic. You start with the hell. Drug, air, heat, air, water. Now we have to build on our defense for our uh, plague, all right? So we drug resistance too and Yeah, we just wait on it But see that's the thing no one knows that they're really sick because no one is dead yet It hasn't become fatal. All right, we've got Western Africa coming to play. We've got Middle East. We got Northern uh, uh, Africa, which is uh, Libya. All right right next to Egypt I don't think Egypt is infected just yet as of right now We've got 77 million people has infected more people in the world than HIV. It is an extremely infectious disease Lethal? No. Infectious? Yes. So next up, the thing that we need to do is... Um, oh, let me get this up. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 we got Africa, mate. All right, abilities. Now that we're spreading around the world, right? We need to... Uh, wait, let me just do this. Genetic hardening, yes. We need to work on our defense. The best defense is a good offense. All right, the second stage of uh, evolving your plague will be later on. Right now, we need to work on our cold resistance, all right? So that it can survive in all types of weather. All right, got it, got it. Coughing, okay, coughing is a symptom and it actually helps with spreading as well. So that's good. That is very good. Oh, we got Central Africa as well. Oh, we've got, Ar is that Argentina? Yes, we got Argentina, we got Bolivia. Uh, we're gonna get Brazil soon, hopefully, if it's spread out. Oh, oh, yes, we've got Northern Europe, the colder countries. That's why we need the core resistance. Okay, now, transmissions. To make sure that it gets everywhere, we need to make sure that we get extreme bioaerosol, right? So it goes air and land and sea everywhere in every single climate, all right? So it spreads like wild a fire. More infectious than the common cold, good. All right, so we've got 2 billion people up and it's a good thing that no one is dead yet. So uh, the world doesn't work on a cure just yet. So we are still working our transmissions phase right now. Okay, cool. Have we hit Greenland? Oh, sis. All right, guys, so at this point of the game, we have 3.7 billion people infected, right? So we need to see where or oh, where uh, have we not spread to. We haven't spread to Finland, Ukraine, 
Greenland, Sweden, and the Baltic states. All right. Now, let me just tell you how annoying a Greenland is in this game, all right? Look at the map. Greenland is right here, all right? That's Greenland, all right? The only mode of transport is by sea and it's in a cold country. If you concentrate too much on trying to infect Greenland, you forget about the rest of the world. And when the rest of the world is infected, sometimes you, over, you tend to overlook smaller details like Greenland. So many land, but the population is about 55,000. Do you know that? In this game, the population of Greenland is about 55,000. Yeah, 56,000. Singapore is a smaller country and we have like 7 million people. Since we got uh, extreme biosols, our symptoms seem pretty, pretty uh, safe. Now we do blood transfusion, right? Because um, it, it's, it's easier to spread right now, okay? Blood to blood contact. So we evolve this and then we evolve this as well. So two levels of blood. So it gets faster transmission in the late game, all right? So now we're going to play at normal speed. Just gonna see. Uh, all right, what did we get? Oh, yo, we got Ukraine. We got the Baltic states. Nice. All right, cool. So as of right now, half the human population is infected. Uh, we haven't exactly touched China. Wow, half a million only infected in China. All right, our symptoms. We will not touch on our symptoms just yet. Until everyone is infected, then we can play with our symptoms. Uh, they're already starting to work on the cure. We sh oh yes. Woohoo has mutated and developed the sweating symptom without using DNA points. Good, but what I was yesing about, what I was yes about, is that we finally got Greenland boys. Starting to work on the cure, which means that I would need to get genetic hardening to slow them down because I still haven't gotten most of Russia and China. Whoa, Russia and China are pretty safe right now, if you ask me. Two more billion people to go to infect, and then we can start killing people. Mutated and developed the sneezing symptom. That's right. That's good. That's how you spread more when you sneeze. So guys, when you sneeze or cough, please close your mouths. We are going to see a huge change in Greenland, about a few thousand. Hemophilia. Oh, okay. Is that second stage a symptom? Yes, that's already a second stage symptom. We've got sweating, we've got sneezing. We've got hemorrhaging going up here. We've got hemophilia. Not lethal yet. All right, so Italy shuts down planes already. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, we've got Russia, boys. We've got Russia. All that's left now is China and Greenland left. Nausea. Okay, the cure is growing quite fast. Okay, we need to uh, reshuffle the, the genetics. So can you imagine being a scientist where you're like, aha, we finally discovered the DNA code and it reshuffles and like, holy crap, what did we just do? So it's like an evil thing to do. So it's like, <laughs> you think you got me? Ah, psych! Alright, we got two stages of defense on our plague. And have we infected the whole world? Have we infected the whole world? No, we have 200,000 people still left. So now is when they start traveling around the world and blue bubbles will appear for you to pop and to prevent them from curing faster. Diarrhea, yikes. First death in Central Asia. Okay, we got our first death. But the question is how many people are... Infected... Oh, wait, what? Everyone's infected. There are no healthy people left in the world. My friends, now this is the fun part of the game, alright? Let's head over to symptoms, shall we? Now, our virus has mutated pretty evenly. We want it to be lethal. We want it to be fast. So, um, like I said, I like going this way. Paranoia will evolve paranoia. Will evolve seizures so people just have random blackouts and next thing we're gonna upgrade is insanity look at this neuropathic action of the pathogen in the frontal cortex causes severe emotional and behavioral behavioral abnormalities significantly harder to cure let's get crazy boys but what we really want is for things to be lethal right so we're gonna hit to slightly more central all right inflammation uh, we've got paralysis that's good we've got coma and next thing we need is total organ failure. I think I might have wasted my DNA points on insomnia, but it's okay. We just need a few more uh, DNA points. Korea begins to break down. All right, we've got our first 100 million death. Killed more than Spanish flu. New statistics shows that woohoo has killed over 120 million. All right, now is a good time for my virus to actually mutate into uh, the total organ failure. I, I guess it was a mistake to do insanity, but you know what? Never mind. 
Oh, oh yes, yes. Hemorrhagic shock symptom mutated. Yes, more mutations, slightly more lethal, and we've hit our first billion death, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. All right, symptoms increasing, and now total organ failure activated and. Bye-bye. Central America declares national emergency. Egypt and anarchy. Egypt is the first to fall into anarchy due to woohoo. No cure research can take place. So indirectly, you're actually fighting the cure as well. You, you, you guys still want to work on the cure? Don't, don't bother, man. I've got 5 billion dead already, dude. A public defecation symptom combo. Diarrhea and insanity are causing the people to defecate in public. Isn't that what happened in Singapore before? The China lady took a crap in front of an MIT station. We had that before. Yikes. But you know what? Since your cure is at 43%, I'm, I'm gonna be an asshole. I'm, I'm gonna be that guy, okay? You think you got me figured out? How about now? <laughs> Genetic reshuffle down back to 39% of the cure. Sorry guys, you can't cure me. Alright, so... Now we just let the game play out and we've already won, guys. Woohoo! Has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans lie and die in holes with no chance of survival. Yep, yep, that number is going down and we're dead. We're all dead. All right, Woohoo has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. I, I won in the game, but we die. So, I'm a bit conflicted here. I should be happy that I won a game, but this is actually what's happening in the world right now. We are all... We, we don't... Okay, see, see, that's the thing about this game, alright? It lets you know that millions of people can be infected, but you don't know whether you actually have the virus or not. So, it's always best to go to a doctor, practice good personal hygiene, and avoid sick people, alright? If you're feeling sick watching this video, stay home. All right, do not go to work or school if you're feeling sick. I'm not saying this for you to skip school or skip work, okay? You may or may not have the disease, but who knows? All right, it cannot be detected that easily. Imagine if that virus right now is infecting everyone with that, without us realizing. What if it had already hit the 1 million mark? Wait, how many people infected already? Confirmed cases? 60,000 plus. 60,000? As of right now, worldwide, Confirmed cases are 60,000. As you can see, it grows exponentially. 60,000 can evolve to 120,000, can evolve into 240,000, half a million, and then the first million. Yikes. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about viruses and how to fight against viruses or how to slow down viruses. And before I go off, um, I just want to show you guys how to wear a mask, okay? This is a surgical mask, okay? Just to let you guys know, there's two sides, white, and blue. Blue is the water, uh, water resistant side, and the white one is the absorbent side, all right? So, to clear up the air, okay? <laughs> to clear up the air. All right, the blue, the water resistant part has to be facing forward, all right? So, and the white one facing you, all right? So, make sure you cover your nose and your mouth and the bottom of your chin, right? And so, there's this metal bar here, this slight, this slight bar here. Just place it up on top of your nose and press it down. And this alone will actually help in like 10 to 15% of the virus spreading, all right? So remember to stay safe, uh, quarantine yourself if you're not feeling well, avoid crowds, drink lots of water, drink vitamin C water, eat your fruits and vegetables. Um, stay safe, guys. It's only the first month of 2020 and yikes. So guys, remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you play Plague Inc. It's available on Steam, the App Store, Play Store. Play the game, share me your experience with the game, and stay safe. Bye-bye. So since you got the master, I can find into this, right?